I'm going to talk about horizontal quality and vertical quality in economics and business. So the basic distinction here is that vertical quality is where everybody would agree that one thing is higher quality than another. So like batteries that last 16 hours are better than batteries that last five hours, that's, that's vertical quality. Horizontal quality, on the other hand, is going to be about how well matched the product is to your preferences. So if you line movies up along this one-dimensional axis where you have action-driven movies over here and character-driven movies over here, you kind of have an optimal preference for movies. In which case, we could ask ourselves sort of like, if we have three movies, one, two, and three, the one that is going to be best matched to you, of course, is the one closest to you on that spectrum. And obviously for both of these, there's going to be a lot of dimensions that you could consider. So for vertical quality, you could think about safety, reliability, failure rate. There's going to be different ways of measuring things that everybody agrees are better or worse. And similarly, we could come up with a lot of different dimensions of quality that would match your preferences. So even within movies, we could have violent versus PG, we could have funny versus serious, we could have sweet versus sexy. There's a ton of different dimensions along which you might have a single preference. And same thing with food, like how sweet do you like your coffee? You're going to fall along some spectrum where the x-axis dimension is going to be how much sugar is in the product. Now, how do economists model these two things? And as you might imagine, modeling vertical quality is a little bit easier. It's simply that you stick that quality into the demand function, like this. So for vertical quality, we've got a demand function, quantity demanded as a function of price, and we stick in the additional variable vertical quality of the product. Meaning that this term, increasing the vertical quality, is going to shift out the demand function. And lowering vertical quality is going to shift in the demand function. That's the way to model vertical quality in economics. How do we model horizontal quality? Well, oftentimes economists will refer to the hoteling model. And under the hoteling model, you have an optimal preference and you'll go to the product that's closest to you on the spectrum, which the way I've drawn these three, there's a, there's a movie that's really close to your optimal point on the spectrum. And the movies over here are only going to glean from the population over here. Now, we could think about this in a more careful way by thinking about the density of population across some spectrum. So we might imagine bottled tea companies competing and each of them has a different level of sugar content where a bunch of people like really sweet tea, that's the higher sugar content, and then there's a bunch of people who like less sweet tea and then there's some people in the middle. So this is the density of the population matched at every level of preference. And of course the companies are going to locate more likely in the places where the population density is highest. And you can think of this as there's like a single person here, and if the three options for T are option A, option B, and option C, this person obviously is going to choose this T level, even though this T is not perfectly matched to their optimal sugar preference. You can look more into the hoteling model, but the basic idea is that it's a spatial model where people go to the nearest thing to themselves, and it relates to horizontal quality of products. So that's a quick overview of horizontal and vertical quality, which is something to keep in mind if you're thinking about an industry or a business.